said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Evangelist David Bybee has been called and anointed by God to fulfill the scripture. Now, let's join Evangelist David Bybee in the worship service at the Crossroads Community Church, Carthage, North Carolina. Praise the name of the Lord. We're, we're going anyhow in the name of Jesus. We welcome those of you joining by television today. Uh, I'm here with at Crossroads Community Church, and we're, we're trying to spread the gospel, the truth. The gospel is supposed to be the good news of Jesus Christ, the truth. And everything that I preach, I'll give you chapter and verse and everything, and it'll all fit in harmony with the rest of the scriptures. I've talked to two brothers already this morning. I can take verses out of the Bible and build doctrines on them like a lot of these denominations do, but that's not, unless it's in harmony with what Christ says and what Paul says and what God says and what the Word of God says, unless it's in harmony, it's, it's, it's a bunch of baloney. And so it's got to be in harmony because Jesus Christ is not going to lie to us. God is not going to lie. Paul is not going to lie. So when, when all of these scriptures come in harmony, we have to believe it to be the truth. That's why he tells us to study the Word. But we're going to get into the Bible this morning. We're going to be talking about thieves and robbers and murderers and killers, and we're going to be talking about you and I. And uh, we're going to, I, I guess that's where I'm headed. I don't know what I'm going to be talking about. Right now, put your hands together. Make Sister Jennifer Eldridge welcome as she sings for the glory of the Lord. Sister Jennifer. Sometimes I still try to take control Cause I get scared when I can't see the end And all you want from me is to let go Parting water 
You know, God is continually delivering us from our trials, troubles, and tribulations. He tells us all through the words, and I've said this so many times, he doesn't tell us to move the mountains. He says, speak to them. Speak to the mountains. Speak to the problems that you're having. Believe when you speak to them, and he said, I'll move them. Those mountains will move. God moves the mountains. He moves the problems out of our lives. Church, the only time that God doesn't answer prayers is when he's not asked through faith. The only time, and he still answers them, he just says no. But if you have an unanswered prayer, it's because you ask doubting with unbelief. God answers prayers. God still heals. God still delivers. God still raises the dead. God still does all the miracles. He turns the water to wine. He can do anything he except fail or lie. He will not fail, and he won't lie. But God is still God. In Malachi 3, 6, I am the Lord, I change not. The same God praised the Lord that shut the, the, the lion's mouths in the den that night is the same God that we serve. The same God that was dancing around in the fire with the three Hebrew boys. He's the same God that I served this morning. Uh, he said, I change not. The same God that healed the leper, praise God, is the same God we're serving this morning. The same God that raised Lazarus from the dead is the same God that I served this morning. His name is Jehovah, and I'm not ashamed of him. Hallelujah. That's what we need to understand is we're on fire for the same God. We have an advocate, which is Jesus Christ, his son. But I want to talk to you about some sinners. <clears throat> A lot of people think that only the righteous and holy go to church. Oh, how mistaken you are. You see, we're all worse sinners. All of us are sinners, saved by the grace of God. Paul was a murderer. His name was Saul in the Bible. To start with, his name was Saul, and he was a murderer. He went forth killing Christians, persecuting Christians. He would go into the churches and drag them out because they were worshiping Jesus. He didn't know Jesus. So he would drag them out and throw them in prison taking parents away from their children. He was a man that thought he was doing God a favor. But one day on the road to Damascus, he met Jesus. He met Jesus, and he got saved. So all of you murderers, all you thieves, you prostitutes, you whoremongers, you, you illiterate people that are out there that are living for sin, you drug dealers, you drug addicts, you alcoholics, and you good people. I want to tell you something. Except you be born again, you're not going to see the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God. Except you're born again, you're not going to inherit the kingdom of God. And so that's what our message is about today. Paul was a sinner. But once he got saved, he went out into the world and he started witnessing. Once he got saved, he started witnessing. Once he was taught by the Holy Ghost the truth, he started witnessing and he was leading people to Jesus everywhere he went. Everywhere he went. And when he went to Rome, he started preaching. And one day he went to Coloss. And when he was in Rome, he was preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And he had a man to come to him in Rome that was a slave. His name was Onesimus. Onesimus. Onesimus was a slave to Philemon. Philemon owned Onesimus, but Onesimus turned out to be a bad apple. And he stole from Philemon. 